Black has done the hard work of building world-class sports sedans. The ATS is a boom to drive, being a technical term. Now, New York Times, perhaps to signal it is not resting on its laurels, Cadillac has ditched them on its new widescreen logo. It shares the same wheelbase as the sedan, but the coupe's track is just a skosh wider. Nearly every body panel is different. Coupes normally amp up the attitude. Cadillac's art and science design is pretty tame here. The driving dynamics are left to do the talking. ATS is the lightest car in its class. If you believe this brand is still stodgy and softly sprung, one hard corner will set you straight. Oh, this car is so much fun. <laughs> The suspension on the coupe is tuned one notch firmer than the sedan. The optional magnetic ride control adjusts damping every millisecond to keep body motion in check. It's terrific. Do not buy a Cadillac without it. I would like the on-center feel to be a little bit more locked down, but I find ATS to be the best handling car in class. And yes, I am including 3 Series. Old stereotypes die hard. The coupe gets two engine choices, a 272 horsepower 2-liter turbo 4-cylinder and this 3.6-liter V6 that delivers 321 horses and 275 pound-feet of torque. Choose from rear or all-wheel drive. The turbo motor can be had with a 6-speed manual. The V6 I'm driving is paired exclusively to a 6-speed automatic. The 6 has more horsepower. The Turbo 4 offers more low end torque. They both sprint to 60 in about five and a half seconds. Low profile tires mean sharp bumps are felt. ATS is not library quiet, but it is quiet enough. Fuel economy isn't a top priority for performance coupes, but I have come close to the EPA rating of 18 city, 28 highway, and surprise, regular grade gas is specified. All this fun is had in a tastefully appointed cabin, beat only by the Mercedes C-Class, in my opinion. Top quality materials, plus cut and sewn elements, add visual luxury. No memory steering wheel? Oh, at least it's heated. Performance seats are skimpy on the side bolstering. I like parts of Q, or Cadillac user experience, but the haptic touch surfaces are not as responsive as an iPad, so it can be distracting. If you plan on carrying more than two people in your ATS on a regular basis, I highly recommend the sedan. The coupe only has belts for two back here and not an awful lot of headroom. Foot and knee room are marginal, as expected. There are some comfort touches that are unexpected. ATS is not known for its large truck. The sedan only holds four bundles of this stuff. A rear-mounted battery helps to maintain a near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution. There is the ability to haul longer stuff, but people buy crossovers for practicality, not coupes. Trunk space matches the ATS sedan. BMW 4 Series Coupe beats this by a full pack. Cadillac is not buying its way back into the market with low, aggressive pricing. ATS Coupe starts at $39,000, as tested, it's forty-nine dollars Optioned up, it can rise to nearly fifty-nine. dollars Cadillac engineers have proven you don't have to buy German for an exceptional luxury sport experience. The burden now falls to the marketing department. Get that message out.